Hello, this is Abdul Mati Asiri. Would like to welcome you to another Boeing 737 video tutorial. This video is going to be the first in a series to talk about the approach and landing in the Boeing 737 for beginners, pilots who have never flown a jet before, or the 737 is the first jet uh, they fly. And this video will cover two areas, which is the seat adjustment and center line reference in the cockpit. So we'll start with the uh, seat adjustment, and we'll start with the forward and aft position of the seat. Now for both seats, we have uh, a scale inboard of the seat for the position of the uh, seat and the scale goes from 0 to 7 units. And what I like to do when I adjust the uh, seat uh, position is to have it as forward as possible but when the flight control check is being done for the uh, full pitch up movement that the control column does not touch any part of the seat. So next we'll go for the seat height and for the seat height we have a scale located below the armrest on the outboard. So for the uh, first officer it's going to be below the uh, right armrest. And as per uh, Boeing you need to set up the height to be able to see the external part or the external surface of the, uh, of the nose of the airplane. And for me personally, I'd like to make sure that I can see the bottom of the uh, connecting bolt here for the windshield wiper. And they say also to be able to see the instrument panel when the control column is the neutral position. Because remember, the control column is going to be in a slightly bit sharp position for most of the uh, phases of the flight. Even in a cruise and level flight, you have about two degrees bit sharp. So I rather set the uh, the height uh, in cruise at level flight and then note the uh, height on the scale, and that is what I use when I fly. But when I do the uh, seat adjustment initially, when I get to the airplane, I try to make sure that I can see slightly the bottom of the windshield uh, connecting bolt here. The uh, third adjustment is for the seat back and the technique I like to use for the seat back is when I'm leaning on the seat back then I extend my arm and I'd like to keep or to have a one inch gap between the tip of my fingers and the instrument panel. I think the original technique is calling for you to be able to touch the instrument panel However, for me, I feel it's going to be uh, too close to the control column. So I like to keep one inch. Again, find whatever works for you and use it. Next, we need to adjust the armrest. And we'll adjust the armrest to make sure that we can rest our elbow and be able to manipulate the thrust levers and the right elbow and be able to manipulate the control column. So that's it for the seat adjustment, the uh, five adjustment forward, aft, the height, seat back, armrest, and now we'll go for the windshield for the uh, rudder pedals. Now for the rudder pedals, I like to keep my uh, feet on top of the rudder pedals, so I'll be able to apply both the rudder and apply brakes if I need to. So what I do is there is no scale for this one. So what I do is I pull the rudder pedals all the way forward until the handle stop, and then I go two revolutions in the aft position and I found that this position will uh, help me when I do the flight control check is be able to do a full rudder movement and apply the brakes with no problems so my leg is almost fully extended at, at this position so even if I have if I need to apply full rudder and full brakes at the same time I can do it so let's try every time there is a, the captain does the flight control check, just make sure that you can do a full rudder a movement with your feet being on top of the uh, rudder pedal. Having your feet uh, resting on the floor here and then the top half on the rudder pedal, I guess, is not a good practice to do, especially if you are landing in a crosswind. If you want to apply the brakes and maintain the uh, rudder, if your feet is here, then it's going to be very hard. The airplane will jerk once you take your feet off the rudder to move it up. 
So it's a good practice to start just whenever you are manually flying, have your feet on top of the rudder pedal. Now for the center line reference. The easiest approximation for the center line is if you imagine the center line goes between your two knees, then the center line is going to pass between the two main landing gears. If you want to be precise, then if you have the center line passing under your left knee as the first officer, then the nose wheel is going to be on top of the center line. And that is if you are uh, doing a straighten approach with headwind or calm wind or a light crosswind. At the beginning when I started flying it was very hard for me to uh, imagine the center line and the left knee. So what I did is every time I was a pilot monitoring I tried to find a point on the windshield wiper that I can link to the runway. As you know if you are very far from the runway then the runway is going to be very small so at the beginning then let's say my point my reference was the uh, this point in the windshield wiper then I'll try to have the runway at this point and as I get closer I'll try to have the uh, center line at this point. So try to find a point that can that works for you and use it as a reference. And with time, it will get easier for you to uh, visualize the center line with respect to your knees or your uh, left knee. So that's it uh, for this uh, video. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please let me know. Comments are more than welcome. Until next time, this is Abdul Matayah Siri. Wish you a safe line and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.